Sergeant Willie Pete, it's been a long time. A very long time. Um, somebody sent me this video, so I had to respond because, you know, when they sent it to me like that on the humbug, then I got to do it. So, this is what's happening. Now, Sergeant Willie Pete, uh, your video is 98.9% correct. See, the thing is, it's not popular to be a good man anymore. Regardless whether you're black, white, purple, green, whatever. It's not popular to be good. And like you said, they don't want a good man until after they're hitting the rug or they got four or five kids. No man, no regular guy, unless he's down, 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 a down, down real man, will take a woman with kids. Now, I know a few white guys who've done it. I know a few black guys who've done it. And when they get with these women with kids, the first thing they encounter, especially if the kid is of any age, you ain't my fucking dad. You're not my father. My dad's gonna this, my dad's gonna do that. I've been around people, white men, a lot of white men who've taken in other people's kids. And uh, a couple of brothers, I'll, I'll tell you about the white guy's experience though. These white guys have told me these stories that yeah, man, when I met this chick, she had five kids. This one guy I worked with, and he's still with her. Um, four of the kids were grown, and then there's, well, three of them were grown, and the other two were like, you know, small, and there's one just about a year and a half old when they hooked up. Now, the one that was a year and a half old is like 20 years old now. I don't want to go through the whole life story, but he told me. Yeah, man, from them going in and out of jail and whatever they go through in their life, it was a burden on him. Now, the black guys who I know who've been with women with kids, because I've done it when I was younger, they get it from the women. Motherfucker, I get him a new goddamn daddy. And, you know, shit like that. That's what I, I put up that shit. I get him a new motherfucking daddy. Get him a new motherfucking daddy. Why don't you find his old one first? You know, shit like that. You, when you with a woman, you don't want to be with no woman with no baggage. And most women don't like to have baggage. In other words, these girls now leave their kids over at mama's house. When you hook up with them, you don't even think they got any kids. Until after you really want to get with them, then all of a sudden, motherfucker got three kids. When you had three kids last month, you had three kids a month before last, now you got three fucking kids? What that? Oh, they have my mama. That shows her responsibility level right there. Then, you saw my hood report video. You get a young woman, you know, trying to do the right thing going to work and shit. He needs his blanket out of there. He wants his blanket. And all of a sudden, you know, she goes to work and motherfuckers' house is running them up they, at the house. It's super chilling and shit. Um, all these little small intangibles add up, man. Then you got the older cats like me. You know, if I was single, would I go for a young chick? No. Would I go for a chick with kids? No. I'm... I'm about to be 40, so I'd probably look for somebody older than me. Somebody to chill with, somebody to relax with, somebody to kick it with. You can't do that when young people are so fucking caught up on what they want, what they need to have, what they gotta have out of life. That's why when you when you say real niggas don't take care of their kids, they do. But a real serious gangster type ever. What you know, basically from what I heard in your video, those motherfuckers do not take care of their kids. They can have $15 million worth of crack money and tell them I ain't paying no child support. Come on, man. They can get these jobs and shit. And I'll never forget, man, somebody tried to stick me with one. But it wasn't mine. Somebody tried to stick me with one. And fucked up my whole life, man. They're trying to stick motherfuckers with kids. Hey, it's you, kid. It wasn't mine. Once again, it's the gold digger mentality. Oh, uh, this nigga gonna do this for me. This nigga got jobs. Nigga, 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 nigga. Yeah, another thing, man, he said nigga a million times on this fucking video, dude. Try to hold back on the end bombs, man. You perpetuating the bullshit. The nigga's an ignorant motherfucker. You too smart to come off like a nigga. Sorry. You too smart for that, Willie, and I'm not gonna let you go out like that. Every chance I get to speak to you, I'm gonna speak to you like I would somebody in my family, because you know I believe in you. 
because I believe that you be talking a lot of shit sometimes, and a lot of people can't understand when you're talking shit or you're trying to put your message into bullshit that you talk. I do like me some really people. Well, like I said, man, real niggas and real gangsters, this all changed. You know, the world is filled full of gangster wannabes. I got one of those songs that I call the same thing. So, Willie P, I can agree with you on most of what you said, but there's more intangibles to it, sir. These people nowadays, like you said, the women, they, they talk about ain't no, no good men. Well, when there were good men, they ran them off. And like you said, they don't want a good man until after they're fucking ready to lay down and relax. If you look for a good man while you're young, you might be able to find a man that you can raise to be good. And I hate to have to say that. Because every man has to raise his woman. And every woman has to raise her man. So if I'm doing something wrong, you my woman, you're supposed to say something. You ain't supposed to just fucking ride with it. Because whenever you the woman, and the motherfucker say, hey, you know, you fucked up, baby. They ain't just riding with it. And like you said, these motherfuckers who get with these old shot to the curve ass sisters just to have a spot. That happens with every race of every man on this planet. And these women who have self esteem problems, your main problem is that person you see when you look in the mirror when you think that you have no problems. Now, me. I'm not the most handsome guy in the world, but I'm not the worst looking guy in the world either. So I'm going to kill myself on that, that kill, that, that, that even level. And for you women out there who think that, you know, you all that, and then when you find out that you're not all that, don't be mad. Better yourself. Better yourself, and then don't have your standards so high that you can't find a man. Because they've lowered their standards to talk to you. I.E., Meet the motherfucker halfway, find out who he is, take the good parts, accentuate them, take the bad parts, and learn how to deal with it or weed them out. Simple as that. When a man and a woman are in a relationship long enough, the man knows where his limits are and the woman knows where her limits are. People work together and to, you know, to be cohesive to get the points that needs and everything taken care of. They, they work cohesively. Not, hey, man, my, my girl got to go get us some beer because uh, she got off work. She's going to bring the beer because I ain't got no money. Well, you know, that whole mentality of going out and hustling and shit is for money. So how you going to call yourself a hustler, a player, a pimp or whatever if you broke? Period. That's the bottom line. If you hustling you got any game about yourself, you're not going to be broke. Even when you have no money, there's a phone call you can make to get money. Me, I don't carry money. I make phone calls to get money. I work when I have to work. I do what I got to do. And I bring it home. I don't need it. Everything else is provided. And people fuck up when they get relaxed. I look at my lips. I'm going to be looking great. And people want to think I'm smoking crack. So um, when I'm, you know, when you get relaxed, you gain weight. Getting fat. You fill out. And you, you become... These kids nowadays got fucked up teeth, bad attitudes, and somebody always it's always somebody else's fault. Oh, one more thing I want to I want to touch on real quick that that I never heard you say nothing about. What about these drama ass niggas, motherfuckers who go out and start some shit, and when the shit goes down, motherfuckers be feeling sorry for his ass. We need to jump on that motherfucking bandwagon so we can start making some of these young folks accountable for their bullshit. Because I'm tired of going to funerals. Oh, oh, Jimmy never hurt nobody. He took care of his family. Yeah, Jimmy sold crack. He ain't never took care of his family. He's shooting at somebody Thursday. So Friday morning when he gets shot and he's dead, everybody crying for him? No. I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of feeling sorry for the brother who fucked up. We need to stop making that shit look like a fucking ghetto badge of honor. Yeah, I've been been to PN four times, man. Ooh. Oh, gee. Oh, gee, status? I got mine by living. No. I became. So, hey, man, I don't know if I babbled on. I don't know if I got any points across, but you tell them to. Niggas are shameful, and they need to stop that shit. They need to grow up, smell the coffee, get a life. See you later, man. They've been tubed. Oh.
They've been tube for real. 